much courage because once he start landing one shot at a time, then he's, he's gonna fall right into Reggie's trap. The expectation is that Jones would choose to box and be safe. Even his good friend Derek Smoke Gaynor said to us yesterday, I want him to box. This should be an easy fight. But Roy Jones said to us, well, don't necessarily count on it. I might decide to go ahead and confront him man to man in the first round because I think he wants it that way. It's already starting to go Reggie's way. Just Roy lands one shot and it turns into a clinch. Right, let's go break Reggie gets in two or three before all of that happens. Reggie getting in the little pops to the body as you saw them in that last clinch. One minute down, hard right hand by Jones and Johnson goes straight on to the seat of his pants. There's the quickness and the power of Roy Jones. That's the quickness and the power. But you got a long night. You don't want to be doing it with one shot. Another right hand lead lands on Johnson. And Johnson trying to fight back. Apparently wanting to communicate right away to Jones. That was a flash knockdown. You didn't hurt me that badly. That punch hurt. And Reggie, this is all new to Reggie now. He's into another category. Jones told us that he felt the straight right hand would be the dominant punch in his arsenal. Already the returns are in. One thing you want to do is Reggie's corner. You got to let them know where Roy, Roy Jones's power range is. You got to keep your hands set. Two weeks ago, Oscar De La Hoya knocked Obakar down in the first round. And it looked for a moment as though it would be an easy fight. But Ten rounds later, Delaware was still fighting before he earned his TKO of Obakar. Another quick right hand by Jones. Now, Reggie is going to have to set his defense, find out where that shot hurt me, and put his hand right there in that position. And a cut above the right eye of Reggie Jackson. Little cut just at the corner of the right eye. He was cut in the, in the 12th of the Will Taylor fight over the right eye. That was back in February. Now, four months later, the cut emerges again in the same place. All of that flash knockdown happened. Red just sticking straight with the same strategy, throwing four or five shots. And Roy Jones, you don't want him throwing shots. You want him defending himself at all times. Great right hand lands for Reggie Johnson. Obviously, his plan was to go to the body. But there's a knockdown. There's blood. There's a highly energetic Roy Jones. There's a wildly enthusiastic crowd. And already, Reggie Johnson is in an uphill fight. Get that blood off him, man. Get that blood off his chest. As you look at the CompuBox numbers that showed Roy Jones fighting economically but effectively. And there's the straight right hand. Right on top of the eye. And you know, if a guy's throwing one shot, here we go again. Mm. And you don't even think it hurt when you punch it with that kind of power. It happens so quickly. It takes a moment for you, before your legs tell you, hey, you're down. So the knockdown and the cut came from the same punch. I believe it's in the same area. Look that way. All of Roy Jones's 12 punch connects in the first round were power shots. I don't think he'll throw too many jabs against a southpaw. And you heard Don Turner telling Reggie Johnson, get inside and don't give him any time to work. And Reggie Johnson's in, listening. You want to get inside and, and land as many punches as you can so that you can make Roy right, June go, start, Jones back following up, you around, up, landing one up, shot at a time. Looking at Jones in his battles against Mike McCallum, Montel Griffin, and a couple of others, Lou Duval in particular, Reggie Johnson's people, Don Turner most particularly, felt as though if you back Roy up against the ropes, he's not effective. But he's certainly awfully effective when he stands in the middle of the ring like this. All right, let's go. Get out. Break it clean. Step back. Think about this Roy Jones. He's so conditioned. It takes a lot of energy to throw that many power shots. 
Ridge is having a difficult time trying to decide which defense is he going to use. Speed. Speed is the great equalizer in so many sports, and speed is the difference so far between Jones and Johnson. It doesn't matter who you're fighting, you have a defense. You set your defense, you don't move your hands back and forward, you just sit where the guy's going to hit you. Johnson getting to the body, Jones backs up. Cut by Jones. And you notice Reggie's hands were right in the right spot Keep that time. Up, Keep up. Now he blocks a right hand with his left glove, does Reggie Johnson, and fires a right to Jones' chest. Backs Jones up into the ropes as he goes to Roy's body. Back up, Reggie. Back up. Sometimes you think you have to move your hands back and forward, but just setting your defense, you're out of trouble. Keep your hands up at all times. Jim Lampley and George Foreman live at ringside in Biloxi, Mississippi. Larry Merchant not with us tonight. Home in California for his daughter Julie's graduation from high school. And Jones, having already knocked Reggie Johnson down once in the first round, looks for another one in the second. Roy Jones is awful courageous. Now he's throwing combinations, which he should have always been doing. Roy Jones, throw your combinations. Although you're powerful, use the one, two, three. The punch is up, Roy. Watch it lower. Watch Jones it digging lower. up and under with the right hand. And again, this is the 10-second warning, not the end of the round. Elmo Adolf has to let the fighters know that that's not the end of the round. That's the bell that ends the round. Confusing. Baby. Okay. That 4-3 working off his jab. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Okay. Pull the cup out. Okay. Get that blood off his chest, man. Right. Way to go. Way to follow his jab up. You going to be following that jab right back? When he get close, he want to run? Make him run. You got to get close. Cut down his... Ain't nothing we can't have. Ain't nothing we can't have. Right, and the punch. Straight level with right hook. Got it up, but you got move to the right, Reggie. If Elmo Adolf has an expressed an opinion to officials at ringside as to whether that cut was the product of a butt or a punch, we're not sure. And we showed you the punch in the first round that could have caused the cut. There's head contact, which also could have caused the cut. So we're not sure which was the instance in which Reggie Johnson's right eye got sliced open. Now we go to round three. And whenever Roy Jones spreads his legs any length of a weight, he's trying to get in a power shot. And I think Reggie's corner should be advising him not allow this guy to spread his legs. How do you stop it? Well, what you do is just stay close, real close to him. Make him back up everything after he backs up. Pretty sure Don Turner would want Reggie Johnson to crowd Jones a lot more than he's doing. When he spreads his leg, he can also just kind of move back a little bit and make him bring his feet together again. We're told, incidentally, that Johnson's corner firmly believes that the cut over Reggie's right eye was from the butt, not from the punch in round one. Of course, it's in their best interest to believe that. with a looping left hand and now digging to Jones's body. Jones backs him up to the right. Now when he backs his legs up, move back a little bit and make him start all over again. This is what Reggie has to do. All right, hold on. Let's go. Let's go. Don't push him in, right? Don't push him in, right? Roy Jones doesn't like using his left jab, so he uses everything with his feet, spreads them apart. Does Roy drop his left hand so low because he wants you to fire the right to counter over it? He spreads himself because he doesn't move the jab. He's looking for the same thing that you could create with a left, a right jab, a left jab. He just can't stand combination by like Jones. Too much speed for Johnson to handle. More lead right hands. Reggie 
Johnson backing up against the ropes and not throwing, blinded by Jones's speed. Jones is pretty, Roy Jones is pretty clever. He knows all this was created in the middle of the ring, so he's not going to throw everything while this guy's on the rope. 